from negative pi over four to negative pi over six. So the integral of cosine x dx is actually sine x. So we're taking this negative pi over four to negative pi over six. So sine of negative pi over six is the same thing as the sine of five pi over six. Oops, that's not right. Five pi over six is over here. So that's gonna be one, two, root, negative root three. All right, so this ends up being equal to um, one half. So then um, minus uh, the sine of negative pi over six. I'm not shoot, I was wrong. Um, I keep making mistakes. Negative pi over six is the same thing as 11 pi over six. So this should have been 11 pi over six. Sorry about that. It's down here. So this is, this is negative one, this is two, this is, or no, this is two, and this is root three. So negative one half, negative one half. And then um, negative pi over four is the same thing as seven pi over four. So we're down here. So this is like one, negative one, root two. So this is minus negative one over root two. So common denominator in this instance is gonna be um, two root two. So we end up with negative, uh, negative root two over two root two minus negative one times two over two root two. Since they have the same denominator, we can combine them now. And uh, we simply end up with negative root two. This ends up being plus two over two root two. And if you want, you can just rearrange it. So it's two minus root two over two root two. And another thing you could do if you really wanted to, that's fine, just leave it like this, but you could distribute a root two over root two and get two root two minus two all over four. But if you want to rationalize the denominator, but this is good enough. So, okay. I hope this helped you out. Appreciate you taking time to watch and you have yourself a great day.